Hi, everyone. My name is Lucas Charles. I'm a staff backend engineer at GitLab, and today we are going to be demoing the new auto revocation capability for personal access tokens that's coming to you in 15.7. So let me just share my screen here and we can run through this new feature. Okay. So as announced in our blog post for the 15.6 release, we now have an open beta for the automatic revocation of leaked personal access tokens on GitLab.com. This new capability builds off our existing secret detection feature by uh, scanning for personal access tokens linked to a GitLab account. And when that token is committed to a project on default branch, it will automatically be revoked. So you can click through right here to see the basic documentation of either the secret detection feature or the actual high level architecture for how this revocation flow works. But let's just give it a try. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to sign in with a test user. And this should be enabled on any individual user. So in this case, um, we're really just using a separate test user so I don't accidentally leak one of my um, employee tokens. Now we're going to sign in and um, go straight to our profile page, access tokens. And I'm going to create a new access token here and we're going to call it Yield Pat Revocation Test. For now, we're just going to leave this standard expiration. And uh, the scope doesn't really matter in the case of this feature, but we're going to just stick with the uh, min most minimal scope we can just to ensure that we're minimizing our risk. So we're going to go with the read user scope. We'll create that access token and showcase it here. I'll go ahead and copy that to my cl clipboard. And then over here, I have my um, separate user. Now, part of the reason I'm using a separate user here, I could very well use the same user, uh, but this alternate user is just demonstrating that regardless of where the token leaks, um, it will be revoked across users, groups, or projects. So uh, for this project, we're just going to go straight in here. You can see it's a fairly standard Go project with a minimal readme and a CI configuration that has secret detection enabled. You can go ahead and go over to the pipeline view to see that. And there's only one pipeline containing the secret detection job. So as a prerequisite, we need to have secret detection running to detect these tokens. If we go over to our vulnerability report, you can also see that no tokens have yet been detected. So this is empty. And we will go back to the default branch. Let's go ahead and just open really any file works here, but we'll do it right here. We'll add a new variables block, and we'll call this my secret GitLab pat token. And we'll copy this one here, paste it in place, and then we're going to commit this token. Now, what's going to happen when we commit this token is a couple things. Uh, the secret detection job will kick off in the pipeline. On completion, it will persist this new token discovery in the vulnerability dashboard and be visible here. Um, meanwhile, that will kick off a secondary call that will revoke the token. And when we reload our page here, we will no longer see an active personal token since this will soon be revoked. There is finally an aspect of the token revocation that's triggering an email. So I have my inbox here open to show me when I get that email coming in. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so the configuration is valid, thankfully, and uh, we can go over to the pipeline page to see our latest pipeline. Okay, looks like there's a warning that one leak was found, so that's good. That looks like it probably found the token we were looking for. If you go over to the secret tab, security tab, you can also see this. And if we go to our vulnerability report, we see this token right here. Now it takes a second for the revocation to kick off, but as soon as that finishes, then we should see, oh, there we go. We just got our personal access token has been revoked email. So the GeoPat revocation test token has been revoked. 
we go over here and we refresh, we see that we no longer have a active personal access token. And if we refresh our vulnerability page here, we still see that it needs triage because there was a leak. It requires a cert team to review the change and make sure that um, it was not used in the second or so that it was live. And if you click through, scroll to the bottom here, you will see detected one minute ago in this pipeline. And uh, that is the feature. This open beta is rolling out to users gradually as we're um, taking on uh, test groups and ensuring that it works as expected and keeps everyone on the platform safe. Um, you will see further news about this in upcoming releases. Thank you for listening and reach out if you have any questions.